All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Oregon Trail here on the Lore Master Channel. And you probably noticed right away that on that save file there, it's been a long few weeks <laughs> since I've uh, last played the Oregon Trail. I took several days off because of, well, a combination of three things. Personal issues, health issues, and um, lack of motivation. But the personal issue thing, uh, that's actually in line with the health <laughs> issues that I have. I mean, no, I'm not sick or not ill or not injured or anything. It's just more of, well, I got to start changing these habits so I can start feel a little more comfortable about myself. And plus, um, I have still not yet begun recording of the upcoming Crusader Kings 3 series uh, for Sri Lanka here on the Lord Master channel because... Still, one of the essential mods are not yet up to date. But I'll tell you what's up to date, and that is here. In which we will continue on to the uh, California Trail here. Which we're only 38% done with this here trail. As the uh, California Gold Rush continues, which we got to get there before winter. And we shall. Even though the last two episodes I made a couple of mistakes. And then I made some more. But now, here today, those mistakes stop here. They end here. Today. Tonight. For now. Uh, let me talk to some people. Again, I did not re-watch my last video card because I have this thing with me where, um, you know. <laughs> Damn it, I lost my train of thought. Just go talk to some people. I mean, I may not remember if I did talk to them last time. But anyways. Crowds of travelers are resting and refitting at the wells, a true oasis in the desert. Lansford Hastings. Oh, I know that bastard. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be getting back to my travels. I'm a busy man, you see, a very prominent lawyer. In fact, I must be getting back to... Oh, okay, I did talk to him. I did talk to all of them. Okay, I did. Now, let me check the inventory. I did buy everything that I need. Although I would love to have some more gold nuggets, but if I will be able to find another gold mine, we'll be sure to use one of these. Which I fear there's going to come a day where a wagon crashes and then stuff explodes and all the items around it will disappear. That's what I fear that day would come, so that's why I'm putting these boxes of bullets as far away from the nitroglycerin as possible. I still got a couple of pelts because we're gonna need that for the uh, river crossing coming up. So we'll be going in a good pass. Hmm. Everyone's in good health and good stamina, the exception of Catherine. As some of the other skills are y still yet to be discovered. So I got spare sets of everything, got all herbal remedies, and a bait. We have no gold nuggets, which I plan on getting some more as soon as we get to the next gold mine, then we gotta get there. So, a current map that of the constantly evolving channel, such as part of any expedition, which reveals all the waypoints. May have to use that soon if I see too many question marks in the next place. And I just noticed the arrows that went up. That's because we have the uh, wheel grease um, installed there. Wheel grease, yes. Sometimes I mistakenly call it wagon grease. Because I am such an idiot. Now, uh, now let's continue on this here trail here. And also quit being so redundant, Lord Master. As I said, the mistakes stop here. And we hope they don't come across any more of it. So, um, Immigrant Pass is the next place we'll be going to. At more than 6,000 feet above sea level, Immigrant Pass is the only practical way through the Immigrant Hills. 109 miles. All characters must survive, naturally, and avoid a broken arm, and you get a guidebook. You are tempting me. 
Because I like to have some gold nuggets. So we could use that said gold to trade with. The other alternative is to learn trade stories for items. <laughs> we gotta go to this gold mine. So I'll tell you what. We're gonna go to this fishing hole. But I will not fish for any fish. Because wagon's too full right now. The party gird themselves for the long trip ahead across Nevada's Great Basin and the second leg of the California Trail. It will be some time before they can resupply property. Every step closer to California makes the party's dreams of striking the rich in the gold fields all the more tangible. And let's hope nobody blows up. small cluster of reeds uh, the trail bellies presence of watery spring. The serendipitous find could be a boon for Catherine's stamina uh, and drinking from such source could positively be revigorated. Should she drink? No. It's probably poison in my personal opinion. Catherine eyes a spring of water with thirst on her lips but thinks it's best not to drink from this random stagnant ponds. Don't you know we're gonna be across desert country soon so they never know the water may be bad. I'm scared of the nitro. Yeah, me too. That's why we gotta go to that nearest coal mine over there. So we can blow it up. The fish team in the water nearby. A prime location to cast a line to try to catch a bite. Don't bait is required. The party could craft some. Yes, we have 25 bait, but we ain't got no room for fish, because if you have fish, this takes up that many spaces. Six spaces. And we got so much damn pelts that, um, I could have sold some of them, but maybe we could trade away for some whenever it's needed. So, push on. Part leaves the fish to their peace. Rumors say gold can be found here. We've got to gain gold nuggets. So we could use that said gold to trade away for some things, if needed. Hey, up ahead, the trail narrows and it's completely blocked by a herd of oxen. A man appears to be tending to them. The man doesn't seem to take notice of the party's arrival at all. We should speak to the man. But the question is, who's the more eloquent speaker of the bunch? Charming, neat, kind, optimistic, fell pugnacious, neutral. Cat should be the one to speak. She could probably use the charm to uh, get that man convinced. Excuse me, could you move your herd? The wagon can't get past. Can't. They're grazing. That is a movie, which Catherine do. Or we could send our physician to get angry. Though. If we had that one gold nugget out, that would be convincing. So, how about 20 flour? The man stares at the bike special for turning around watching his herd. Okay. How about $10? Nope. I want you to get angry though. Sure, you may be a doctor, but... Damn it! You need to tell that man get moving or else! Now look here! We can't hang around all day waiting for your animals to stuff their bellies. Move them along this instant. Well, I guess we have no choice but to wait. Still waiting. Still waiting. Without further word, the herder is oxen move on and out of the way. You know, the next thing Emmett would say was frickin' plant life. Yeah. 
An abandoned gold dig site lies along the edge of the trail. The ground cracked over by shovels and pickaxes. The previous treasure hunters have moved on. This will be an excellent chance for the party to mine for gold. Maybe we should try our luck at a uh, mining at the dig site. There could be seven or eight gold nuggets still in here. What should the party do? Mine for gold, of course. The party could dig for gold or use the nitroglycerin charge. Digging is safer, but nitro is much faster. The better question is, who's got the composure? Composure is very important. Once again, Catherine's got to do all the work. Who should place the nitroglycerin charge? A prospector would be the safest, otherwise someone with a cool head and steady hands. It's got to be Catherine. Don't screw up. Got to play with careful to this charge and Isaac Chris will be most effective. Yahoo! The party is gold fever. This ups their hygiene and their stamina. The explosion is still ringing in their ears as the party collect the, the scattered gold totaling six nuggets. That was good. I guess we'll go to this nondescript trail. As long as nobody breaks an arm. How's the coyote? The wire grease expired, and uh, we got some people. Hello there. Good to see another immigrant along the trail. We're in a spot. We're short on supplies, and on money too. Will you be willing to trade for some gold? I'll trade you a hundred flour for one gold nugget. How does that sound? Can't go that. You know what to do. Just so careful wrangling. Captain manages to secure a better deal. Trade you a hundred flour for two gold nuggets. That would definitely open up some. Sure. Thank you so much. It means the world. Not too concerned with the food situation yet, but 100 flour is a big difference maker. So now we got 8 gold nuggets. So we still got a bunch of dollars, but we're going to be keeping them in the nuggets. Could be a tool for trade, and also for capes. Wagon hits a particularly large bump and a loud crack rings up in the wagon. Oh, we just dropped the trail map. I was hoping that wasn't a nitroglycerin, because that got me, uh, you know, d d d d jumpy. You know, shit makes me nervous. So, gotta fix that. The wagon bed can't be been damaged by the rough trail. While nothing has been uh, broken completely this time, the pirates could consider repairing the damage before things get worse. Attempt to repair the wagon. Well, I'm not sure. It probably won't be good, but let's give Frederick a shot at fixing this. He's optimistic. Nope. His coverage skills won. As far as hard work, he fails to improve the condition of the wagon. At least it's not anywhere near the nitro. Damn, there goes all them toolboxes. It's not what I had in mind. When we get to immigrant class, I'll apply another uh, wheel grease. Hi.
This is the place. Though, Immigrant Pass provides a welcome relief from the party's uphill movement. The wagon rolls roughly over the tracks left by previous travelers. Catherine's our go-to wayfinder in situations like these. I don't know either one of y'all's. But I do know this. It's quiet, but a small number of exhausted travelers have chosen this area to catch their breath in spite of the relentless heat. Henry O'Connor. I suggest you keep following the Humboldt River to the west. It doesn't make good drinking water, but it's the best point of reference you'll find. There's no sense of getting lost looking for a shorter route. Have it. We only just begun to cross the desert, and I'm already losing animals to the heat. I'll be lucky to have anybody left by the time I reach the other side. Robert Clemens. Crossing this mountain has been exhausting for everyone. My wife has taken ill. My own endurance has been tested as well. I'm concerned that we're not sufficiently prepared for the next leg of the journey. Oh, but I am. Anybody willing to trade anything? I got gold nuggets. I got pelts. If anybody wants them. Wheel grease medicine bolts. How many medicine do we have? Three. Knowing that the trail is going to get rougher, so I probably would like to have some more medicine. Stamina is not the issue. Here's your charm. <laughs> hmm. Let me see. I can afford to give away five pelts. Yeah. That'll do. The uh, flower stays. We got enough coffee. We don't need more bullets. Make room for meat or more pelts potentially. Speaking of which. Ah, never mind. Put it here. Keep it uh, as far away as possible. That's the idea here. We don't need a rest, we got the coffee. But before we get on moving, let's apply another. Because we don't have any toolboxes. Wish they had some, but it's not to be. So. People get tired? Brew coffee. Ninety-seven miles to the Humboldt River crossing, a river crossing in the area of the Winnemucca, a name for the 19th century chief of the local Northern Paiute peoples. The last river crossing on the California Trail. Thank goodness. Collect meat. Collect pelts. The place to hunt is up there. Oh, good! More gold nuggets that we can obtain, which will do that for. Um, Use that for the nitroglycerin. Leaving Immigrant Pass behind, the party is all then somewhat daunted by the distant view of the desolate Great Basin ahead of them. A grove of wild berries grows near the trail ahead. Products I'm eagerly anticipating a delicious change from the food packed for the journey. But these are raspberries. Safe to eat, but best collected by someone with a keen eye. We should forage for berries. Count them, of course, because I don't trust the rest of them. Since we got our highly skilled, competent person. Whether through pure intuition or practice skill, Catherine collects an abundance of wild berries. 
75 to be exact. Or we're going to use that last nitro for the dig side overhead. Here. There it is. Another golden up there. I'm no expert, but this looks like an abandoned dig site. But it's full of gold nuggets. Maybe we could find 10 or 11 for ourselves. Mine. Blow it up. Place it. Eight gold nuggets. Script trail here. Try to take some more which trail to follow. Well, as per objectives, we gotta go hunting. It's bison population. This will give us plenty of food and pelts that we will need. Not to see some fresh faces around here. Apologies for crowding the road, but as you can see, we've been through some recent hardships. Unfortunately, we placed our trust in a man who promised us an easier road to California. Let's cut off through the Wasatch Mountains uh, across. Uh, that that was a car, not a skink. His uh, cut off through the Wasatch Mountains across the Great Salt Lake Desert was supposed to save us weeks of travel. Instead, we ended up losing almost a month in that infernal terrain. Excuse my language, but we're starving. We've lost all of our supplies, and some of our people too. Hastings cut off. Blast it all! And we wouldn't have lost anyone if it weren't for that rat, James Reed. Yes, well, at least we made it through the, the trials thrown at us so far. Is there anything else we could do for you folks? Let's talk. Who should probably talk to? Margaret. My poor husband. He was trying to, he was only trying to defend himself when he, he he stabbed Snyder. I suppose I understand exiling from the group. <laughs> it's at least better than the alternative. But he worked hard to lead us through the Hastings cutoff. But I do hope he's safe on his own. Thank the Lord, Abe Lincoln didn't uh, join end up joining our number. I shudder to think how James would have felt if his whole captain saw him like this. Close. Damn that in damn him damn that Lansford Hastings. He's just a fame hungry lawyer with no morals. He speaks about how great his path to California is, and he doesn't even travel it himself. Do you know he left a letter saying to wait for him? He said it'll show us an alternate route through the mountains. Something safer. How much do you want to bet that he actually showed his face? Hmm. Coward. Anything else we could do for you folks? I'll be so supplies. I'll give you 50 food. Because food's more important than just having pelts around, not to be real frank. Oh my, that's very generous of you. This will really help all the families in the group. Hopefully we'll have enough to make it all the way, to make it to the rest of the way. We don't have much to offer, but here's a small token of our appreciation. I'm grateful that there's still good people in the world. Two harmonicas and a hymn book. It was kind of you to stop at Converse of us. We haven't seen people outside this group in quite some time. And we're starting to feel rather tense. Safe travels, my friends. Perhaps we'll see each other again in California. Ouch, I just saw that. Now, that hymn book. Gotta go. Right.
Oh, you're the missionary here, Frederick, so you should also have that up. Oh, Frederick's foot been crushed under the wheel of the wagon. Toes may be broken. Depending on extent of injury, a good rest may be all that Frederick needs. If the injury is more severe, then force him to walk. Forcing him to walk will likely invite greater misfortune. Respect the injury. Hammett, you're the physician. His medical skill improved, but yet. He cannot determine the extent of the injury nor a proper course of treatment. When Frederick tries to put his weight on the foot, the pain is nearly too much to bear. Well, we gotta rest. Just this once. Definitely has a broken leg. Mm -mm -mm. Hold it right there. Coffee. I did this because I saw what's coming. It's hunting time, folks. Sending Catherine out. But she's rather competent. And I don't trust the others. Remember. Two shots. Double tapping. Okay, that was a little. No way you can carry it all back, but that was some mighty fine shooting. A hundred and fifty pounds back at the storage. That's how much you can carry with a uh, full stamina character. And go obtain those pelts and use that knife. Sixteen pelts! Holy crud! Ain't no way we can carry it all back. And we'll have to bypass the opportunity to fish. There's no way we can carry it all back. No way, no how. I don't think we need that much meat. But you really need the knife. Tell you what, for the sake of the man's broken leg. Cut that down by half. Plus we got medicines for that. We'll be sure to sell the pelts at the river and then use some at the river crossing. We don't need to take a ferry. And save the money for whatever we may need. Which, everything will be fine and dandy. So I'll be willing to dump the meat. Oh, and, um... How far are we? 34. I'll just hope for no parts to break, otherwise we're boned. We're going to bypass the opportunity to fish again. Just 
gotta get to the river before a part of the wagon breaks and shit! What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? <sighs> Thinking. And you know, that's not good. Can't plug these holes because of the, um, you know, the upcoming river crossing and you may sink. I was planning on saving that wheel grease after the river crossing. But we need toolboxes. Or anything for that matter. I can hear rushing water. We're almost at the crossing. The brown waters of the Humboldt River snake their way across the Great Basin. Immigrants must cross the river on their journey to California. The river is deceptively deep in places. A party will need to carefully consider how to tackle the challenge. Crowds of people line the river while their wagons are made ready to cross. Hope Jones. Curse this river. I've made two attempts already and been beaten back both times. I was already low on supplies. Now the water's claimed uh, what little I had left. I turn around, but the prospect of facing that interminable climb again is much too much for you to bear. Not that the journey ahead is any more promising. Bill Kelly. The boys and I haven't, haven't had much luck hunting for gold here. We've been at it with picks, shovels, and wash basins, and our efforts have been rewarded with a single grain. I think it's a waste of time to continue searching here, so we're going to move on in the morning. There's Tall Dead now. The Humboldt has gone by many different names over the years. The English fur trappers used to call it Ogden's River. But everybody, whatever I know, still calls it Mary's River. Right. Anybody got toolboxes? Toolboxes. I'll be willing to trade you for some pelts. Yeah, there's two pelts. The more wheel grease would be nice. And nitroglycerin is just pretty precarious. Too many crystals. That many pelts? I'll be willing to give you gold nuggets. See if I can reduce that. You're gonna improve your wit one of these days. Oh, we, okay. Instead of three, now it's one. Okay. There we go. First time I trade away a gold nugget. <sighs> Let's fix this bad boy. And apply one right now. Actually, no. Soon we're about to use these pelts for the river crossing up ahead. We must, best, we must make the best preparations so if we were to have any chance of crossing without incident. Should have probably crossed the river. It's rapid, it's eight feet deep, and uh, although we could use the ferry, I have a lot of money for it. But You got 49% chance of success of cocking that wagon. 
with the seal of the wagon with all the uh, pelts that we have, which makes it a 78% chance of success. Which something tells me we gotta wait. But please wait one moment. I've got the pelts back. Okay, let's just think it for future reference. So it takes 10 pelts. So we could sell um, 10 pelts. Let's first haggle. Like to make a little bit of money before, you know, we get on moving. Because I ain't spending that money on a ferry. I want to take my chances. So, $80. $8 per pelt, mind you. And then, uh, we'll sell seven more. Gotta make some space. Three, six, seven, and there we have ten pelts that remain, which is to be used for the river crossing. One dollar short of five hundred dollars. That is more than enough to buy what you need the next time you get to, uh, what is this place called? Whenever we reach Mormon Station. This is going to be the last river crossing here, and there'll be nothing else beyond that. Nothing but desert. Seventy-eight percent. Which, that chance increased a little because we were selling some of the pelts, so we dumped some little weight over. And plus, we need to rest, so let's rate rest and wait. 81% I like my chances so it's moderate not rapid so let's call the wagon and cross the river which of course it's going to take a little more time as you know the party prepares the wagon removing the wheels and making the bed of water tight it's 83% chance of success now so let's let's go and let's get it Yes, we made it. The wagon is uncalked and the supplies inspected. The party is thankful that they took the time to seal the wagon sufficiently. There are no additional losses in the crossing. Got another medicine and the coffee. Now we'll head to Big Meadows. Also known as the Great Meadows. This is a pleasant stop on the trail. Immigrants have set up a small tent to the town and allow their oxen and horses to feed while they rest. Collect pelts for another medicine, and collect herbal remedies if you see any, for $45. And it's way over there. And, you know what, this would be a good opportunity, because this is taking up space. Use the trauma to all nearby undiscovered waypoints. Which, what's ahead now? There's a hunting ground, we can collect pelts. There's a lost wagon, which we can get repair items. Oh. I'm not terribly concerned with repair items because we're going to apply this now. That'll keep us going. We got lots of medicine. And uh, as soon as we will get another medicine. I mean, I could use just one, just for you big difference. Maybe once we get to big metals I may use that for you. And we could get there in two days tops but of course we're gonna take some time to hunt for more meat. Mm -mm -mm. More meat. I'll probably go get some more gold with the humble river behind them. The party looks ahead with some trepidation. They only hope the trials to come aren't as treacherous. Uh, 
Oh hell. Without warning, the wagon's surrounded by sand, worn and wind. The grain's great against the furry skin. And it's exhausted. Sandstone worsens, limiting vision, and forces the party to slow down. The party is coated in dust and sand. The air grows difficult to breathe. It tests the fortitude of all tra traveling through it. Hang on. Got exhausted people here. And I can tell that some people got bad hygiene. The one who's neat gets the big bonus. Same for you. Everything's scattered now. Make some space. We've got all this open now. Not too terribly concerned of how much wheat we can gather, but health is for the objective. Back here. Again, not about the meat, but about the pelts. And we'll sell the pelts down the line or trade them off with somebody. Hunter will do. Use that knife. Ten pelts. Excellent. Now let's get more gold. So here's what we're gonna do. We'll go to here. Then we'll rest there because exhaustion. And then gather herbal remedies there. We got to endure. Winter's forty days away, so we're not going to rest as much, so we'll only rest when you need it. Okay. We don't have nitroglycerin, so someone's going to do some digging. Four to five gold nuggets maybe in there. Do count it first and then we'll let Sakurai do the rest. That's my idea. Gold fever! <laughs> now you've recovered from exhaustion. Now you feel motivated. Give Catherine a break and there's someone to dig. Oh. Well, then again, everybody's motivated. We'll rest at the camp, so Zachariah, do the work. We should dig. It's hard work, but an experienced prospect will likely be more effective. Keep digging, damn it. That's it. There's no more gold to be found here. Satisfied with our haul of six pieces of gold, the party continues along their journey. To the camp. We'll rest there then. We'll go down to pick up our remedies if we can. The 
abandoned campsite lies covered in dust and sand. Our previous occupants left and it is good enough condition to be reused. Set up camp. Mm -hmm. Stargates for once. Because I almost never did that. That stars up there. Saw a few shooting stars. Rest. You've all earned a break. Party away gets all rested and ready for another long day of travel. Party spies a small thicket of shrubs, each covered with small red berries. If gathered, they have medicinal properties that may prove useful. Berries are delicate and infinitely difficult to harvest. It takes an experienced explorer to gather a large number. Who should harvest the berries? Catherine, naturally. Harvest an enormous number of berries, carrying them back by the harmful. Had the trips falling face first on the ground and crushed some of the berries. Managed to gather. Oh, we failed that one, so we won't get the extra money. But we got pelts, so we'll sell them. As soon as we get the big medals. Wagon arrives at Big Meadows, a welcome oasis for immigrants crossing the Great Basin. A chance to rest and trade. How's your leg? Four days. We'll be back in no time. A huge number of travelers have stopped here to rest and prepare for the perilous desert crossing ahead. Cordelia Fitzsimmons. Well, this is the liveliest place on the trail so far. I've lost count how many wags have arrived um, in the time I've been here. Certainly enough to replace those that left. Isaac. This is good land. I may stay, for, may stay a while to let my cattle feed. And harvest some of the wild rye. Jack Beefett. I do hope you're prepared for what's ahead. The 40 mile desert is not for the faint of heart. It's a barren, sterile land. Devoid of any comforts. Don't expect to find any water or grass there. Only dead men and oxen. They say that only half the wagons that attempt to cross and make it to the other side. And that there's enough graves to fill a cemetery. Yikes. My grandfather took my family to live in California when I was very young. I was afraid and used to cry a lot and high under people's robes. Once I became sick from the poison oak, but the white woman gave me medicine to get better. When we got home, we learned all about the sad things that happened while we were gone. I was just happy to be with my father again, and he held me while I cried. Winnemucca. My father, old Winnemucca, calls the immigrants our white brothers. But I wonder if they see us the same way. If they do, then why they burn our winter supplies when we went to the mountains? The great immigration has come to our country just as I knew it would, and I fear we will suffer greatly. Anything to trade? 
again willing to sell some extra pelts because taking up space and I'd like to use that newfound space for new things you know what to do eight dollars for pelt here's ten and we got eighty dollars I would love to have more toolboxes But you know what, give me some more wheel grease. Hundred meat. We can afford it. We'll get more meat in our next hunt. Yeah, give it a go ahead. Wish we would give him nuggets for that kind of price. Since we still don't have more toolboxes. And you know what? Give me medicine. I need to, the leg of Frederick to feel better. So here, here's a nugget. Thank you very much. All better. Everybody else is good. Yes, sir. -y. Don't have toolboxes, but these wheel greases here are lifesaver. And I guess we'll just keep pressing on then. No reason to stay here any longer. to Mormon Station, a trading post, a place for a respite and a chance to resupply before tackling the Sierra Nevada, a small collection of buildings and budding gold seekers. Collect pelts, collect me 129 miles to travel. Once we arrive at Mormon Station, that's where we'll end the episode. Yeah, we still got plenty to get there. And I would also like to have more gold. Let's go hunt first, and then we'll go down, and then head this way, then down that way, and uh, what's this? Health. Okay. Got it all figured out. We trade away some meat. The party rolls out and into the forbidding stretch of the 40 mile desert. They won't see water again until they reach the Carson River and Mormon Station. Look at that. Bones. Broken wagon parts and Frederick, upon checking the bags of flour, finds that mold has begun to grow in one of them. Perhaps they were not properly dried after the last river crossing. The visible moldy, moldy portion of the flour will need to be discarded. For while it's impossible to tell at a glance, there's a chance that the mold spores have penetrated still deeper in the bag. At the risk of greater waste, it'd be prudent to discard the bag entirely. Go ahead, get rid of that. Frederick discards the effect of flour and some of that was stored near it. To be safe, it is simply not worth the risk. We'll make up for it by getting some meat. Oh there, travelers! Welcome, travelers. Step right up and play our game. My brothers and I will shovel ourselves around. When we stop, see if you can pick me out. Choose correctly, and all manner of rewards are yours to keep. How about your wagers? Say, ten dollars? That seems fair. Fair play? What do you say? Alright, I'll play. Excellent. Now, let us play. Say when you are ready. I'm on the right. Follow me. Three men standing there blinking expectantly at the party. Which one should be chosen? 
I believe it's the leftmost. Felicitations, you got me. A sterling effort, travelers. Here's your reward. Hope to see you again. Got flour, fifty dollars, and two coffee. Got so much damn coffee that it feels it's unnecessary to use to rest now. But let's use that wheel grease. Looks like I got no toolboxes, but this will keep us going. Excellent. It's hunting season, fellas. Let's go. Easy. Gotcha. Mighty fine shooting, but you won't get it all back, but we are gonna get a lot of pimps. Hundred twenty-five meat. Let's use this worn knife, it'll break likely. Still have the knife, but eighteen pelts. Hallelujah. I know it's a bit much, but still. I've noticed that um, hygiene issues here. Zachariah here, since he's a neat person, that means he jumps up. Again, really don't care about getting much pelts at this point, Tom. Um, as long as we are kept. And plus, make room for some gold nuggets. That's gonna come this way. You got all the meat you need. I was hoping a knife would break so we could bring more in, but... I guess we'll have to dump these out then. Actually, use one. Give it for the sake of you two. And we'll have to pass by the camp since we're so well rested. Bring an extra. Leave the rest. We'll sell the pelts. Down there. Ouch. Tripping over a small honk bump on the road. Zachary finds some of the dust. The little story picks stuff up and keeps on walking. Look again. About to say, we might as well use up those herbal remedies. No, don't camp here. We're well rested enough. I'm here for some more gold. We may not have more room for gold, but we'll do something about it. Actually, I will do something about that right now. Why don't we just ate all the meat? Because I was about to say, hey, let's um, use this medicine. Oh no. The wagon's back wheel sinks as it does its shifting sense. Its axle jams. All of a marred. It will no, move no farther. All together now. The stings stand. Pushing the wagon free will strain the party, or worse. One of my packets of cargo to lighten at first, which would be tolerably safer. But the more cargo is unloaded, the longer the process will take. It's probably to do. Unpack some. With the wagon bed lightened, um. The party pushes as the oxbow. Entire wagon rolls free. The cargo is repacked, and the wagon 
continues its journey towards Mormon Station. Stop. Use the coffee. Because we're going to do some digging. Alright. Find 10 or 11 gold nuggets if we're lucky. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Everyone's going to take turns, whether you like it or not. First up, Catherine. I'm going to bounce things out here. One gold nugget. That's it. Okay. Now. Frederick, it's your turn. One gold nugget. Emmett, you're up. One gold nugget. Sakura. One gold nugget. Come on. Where's the gold fever? Well, keep digging. Keep digging, and then we're gonna give Catherine a, a, a next. Look, let's dig here one more time, then we'll get moving because, for Christ's sake, um, we should not be wasting this amount of time to get that much gold. Prospector, wish we had a prospector, but doing this trail is the only way to unlock it. No more gold to be found here. Good. Because I was getting ready to leave. Seven pieces of gold. This is to restore the health. If need be. Gold nuggets. Remember, the reward is medicine and coffee. A friendly looking man with a wide smile waits for the wagon to draw near. Hello there, folks. It's a road trail to California. It looked like you could use some cheering up. Would you like to hear some jokes? Who says you, comedian? The lady at the mining supply store said I should take my pick. Eh. A gold nugget says to his friend, you smell something strange? Hey! That guy's stealing the gold! Luckily, Emma chases the thief away before he can make off of any gold from the wagon. His accomplice of the terrible jokes is nowhere to be seen. It is haste to get away. The thief stumbles and drops a small sack. What's this? The thief's previous spoils. What a blunder. Gold fever. Zach Grass help is up and the party stamina is up. And so is everybody's hygiene is up. More gold for us. Keep it up. A 
An old windblown campsite lies sadly in the dust. Um, previous owners have left the equipment and firewood that could be salvaged to cook a health restoring meal. Let me think. You know what, for once, let's set up camp. Here's what we're gonna do. It's not about the health. Let's tell stories. So that way we know each other's skills. Party spends and I talking about among themselves, learning more about each other's skills. 29 days till winter. So we gotta stop fooling around. Huh. You can hear the winter snows now. Roger lets out a wheezy cough, his poor health beginning to exact the toll. Catherine has heard rumors of a local plant known as Devil's Club. Crushed, its root and stem may be used as a poultice on wounds or just as a health tonic. Searching for this plant may take some time, if it can be found at all, but it may be well proved useful. We'll search for the arm. We'll take some time on that. Catherine, leveraging her spirit knowledge area, locates a stand of Devil's Club. After the outer bark of the root is scraped off and the interior is crushed to a paste, there is enough of the remedy to aid Frederick, and some extra to store for the future besides. Yeah, we gotta stop dilly-dallying around with the resting and such. Huh. May have to pick up the pace in the uh, next episode. We'll be reaching Mormon Station. The party spies Mormon Station ahead. A loose collection of buildings that serve as a chance to resupply before tackling the formidable Sierra Nevada range. The station only provides goods and sustenance, acts as a reassurance that the party have truly put a desert behind them. Got the medicine and the coffee. And that was only leg two of three of this journey. Party has reached Mormon Station. Huh. Again, it feels like just a good old small town, but um, it's a trade station, way station, and such. So. And yet, getting to Humboldt Wells was comparatively longer than what we did at Mormon Station. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, we will close this episode here. In the next episode, we're going to go talk to some people. We're going to buy some things from the store because we have lots of more money than... I mean, not necessarily rich as Croesus, but still, it's a lot of money. And we're going to use that money. Because we got to keep this wagon well repaired, well maintained. Have a lot of coffee, which we already have. In addition to medicine and the over remedies to keep us all healthy. Which we can deal with any situation of any illness of any injury. We will have no issue with that. And plus, sell some pelts for additional money before you even think about spending. And if need be, we may have to start giving some gold to the Asaya. If it needs additional cash. So, we hope you people will join us in the next episode because on this next episode it will be on my birthday September 11th that's when that next episode will be posted on so we hope you people have enjoyed this um, video here and we'll see it in the next one for another you know leg of the journey which will be leaving from Mormon Station to we'll get to Mountain Lake Casa Pass Tragedy Springs Grizzly Flats Hangtown and then Sutter's Mill the end point here but we may have to pick up the pace and we probably may or may not go to all of these places. I mean, who knows? 
It took us 25 days to get here, and who knows how long this trail will take. So, let's see if we can make it before winter will kill us all. And we'll end up like the Donner Party that tried to go through here. So, we'll see you in the next episode. But until then, so long for now.